Okay, wanted to make a video. 26 pound valve springs. I just took out the stock one. Basically, all you have to do is either put string, I put loom. You turn this down till the piston goes all the way down. Shove this in till you can't shove. And then you turn the crank and it's tight. So now, this you can't push this down. That's the whole point. You don't want to push this down. Anyways, so I already got this out. I'm going to show you the easiest way to take it out and put it back in. All right. You got to make sure you don't lose these. Now, where's my 26-pound valve springs? All right, I want to point out something. Okay, you guys see this little lip right there? If you put that in like this, and you're having a hard time getting this to sit on top and it goes cockeyed it's because it's hitting that so normally what I do is you could either get a file and shave that down or what I do is just flip it around and make sure it's on the bottom it's down there see that little lip right there that little lip Alright, so now I'm about to go ahead and show you how to put this on easy. Alright, that's my 26 pound valve springs. Alright, let's see if we can get this in there. First, you want to do this. Let me see. Hold on a second. I'm going to have to edit this video or not. Alright, here we go. Before you put it in, it should look like that. Where's this damn thing? Look like that. Put that in there, and you're good. Now, while that's in there, you wanna slide that on there. And all you gonna do is you're gonna use your fingers. And you're gonna push down. It's a pain in the ass because it's 26 pounds, but you can get it. Bam. And that's on there. That easy. You don't need no fuck you don't need no tools. Sorry, I don't even want to cuss on this video. You don't need no tools or anything. Now I'm gonna show you how to take it out. Right here. It's very simple. All you need is a socket. All you're gonna do is this. You're gonna make you're just gonna push it in and jiggle it back and forth until it pops out. Just make sure you don't lose it. There it's already off. I should have it right there. And there they are. Well, I hope this video helped a lot of people. And this is a stock valve spring, which I'm about to do another another one. This video is just to show you how to take it off. I'll do another video about the whole thing, but yeah. I didn't want to make this one long. Alright, bye.